Good summit. You guys have been here all day long. Uh, I just want to, you guys know how it works before every speaker. We do this little, a little piece of business. Rod, do me a favor, throw the, th throw the screen up. Uh, first of all, let's, uh, let's thank Fausto for being one of our sponsors here today. So um, I, I'm not sure I need to mention it now, but cyber trading university, obviously he taught our last speaker and he maybe he's taught some of you guys out there. If he's already taught you put your, just say something in the chat. So we know, we know if there's any students that are already here. Um, Fausto's got five stars on Google, lots of great things about him. Uh, full disclosure, I've worked with Fausto many times before. I actually like him as a friend. So uh, I'm not just saying the nice things because of that. I'm saying it's because he's got five stars on Google. What are you going to do, right? Mm -hmm. um, and he's got a special offer today that I think you're all going to love. I'm not going to ruin the surprise. I just want to thank him for being a sponsor. Rod, go to the next screen so we can do our our, um, our legal thing. Ta-da. Ta-da. Last time today, guys. Last time. But we've done this 32 times now. So. Yeah. Legal uh, uh, high risk warning is up. Um, just whatever Fausto tells you is not necessarily advice for you. It's general advice. Uh, don't it does not take into your account your objective, your financial situation, or your own personal needs. Um, seek advice from uh, an independent financial advisor if you want that. Past performance does not necessarily indi indicative of future success. Most of this stuff doesn't normally apply to the way Fausto s speaks or even teaches, but it, it still needs to be up there for li for legal reasons. Um, and I want you all to sit back, relax, grab a piece of paper and a pencil. And I told you for every speaker, if you can just learn one thing, you'll be okay. I think you'll learn a few things with Fausto here. Let's, let's go to the next slide, Rod. I've already said so many nice things. I'm not sure I need to say all this other stuff here, but I'm going to do it anyway. But, uh, his, his name is Fausto Pugliese at Cy Cyber Trading University. He's one of the original, uh, SOES bandits, day traders in the early 1990s. And he pioneered the use of direct access trading technology. He has gained extensive knowledge and experience working alongside seasoned and successful traders in the industry. And of course, he's taught thousands of people. Uh, he's founded Cyber Trading University, which we affectionately call CTU. And he serves as its CEO, offering a tra uh, trading school for aspiring traders. He's recognized as the 12-time champion at the Traders Challenge. That's, that's for trading, by the way. Mm -hmm. showcasing the effectiveness of his trading methods in live trading events. He's the author of the book, How to Beat the Markets at Their Own Game, Uncovering the Mysteries of Day Trading, published by Wiley Trading. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Fausto Pugliese. <laughs> John, thank you so much. Rod, it's great seeing you guys. One, one thing before I get started, do you still got the mouse pad? That's all I want to know. Did you get my time went to trade? Yes, with mouse of course. Good. Because what I'm going to talk about right now, everybody, you better pay attention because I'm going to blow your effing stocks, yeah, stocks off because I'm going to show you something that just happened now. And I just couldn't wait until this thing started ending. You're going to see why so many students I've trained. And not only does this clock make sense, but why you're going to definitely want to stick around for the event. I'm going to be inviting all of you to do this. So let me share my screen with you and I'll show what I'm talking about. All right. You got it. So anyway, did you guys see what happened with Tesla just now? I mean, I, I, I know... I, Listen, the more people chat, the more fun we're going to have. You don't talk, you know, that means you're not listening, you're not in here. But listen, if you are serious, I want to make sure that everyone's in here. Michael, you're in here. Okay, who else is in here? Just want to make sure. Just give me a quick yes. Marie, thank you very much. All right. There's almost over 100 people in here. I just want to make sure we're all listening. All right, good. I like to do these events after the market closes because no one's paying attention to the market. But I want to show you something r ridiculous. I want to bring Tesla up here. Okay. I want you to look at this really quick. Tesla, um, what I'm about to show you, I'm going to teach you how to shadow market makers. And I want to show you Tesla really quick. Tesla has been having a really, really nice run here. Okay. I'll show you what I mean. Here's a long-term chart of the stock right here. You can see Tesla uh, beginning of the year was roughly around 100. Right now it's at 230. I'm an actual day trader. Okay. I also teach how to swing trade, but something absolutely unique happened that I even think John and Ron and everyone else going to fall off their chair. Okay, so watch the intraday chart. You can see here around three o'clock, the stock went from $232 all the way to 236. Okay, that is an actual huge home run. Now, the question that you are probably asking, and this is what you got to learn, is what makes these stocks go up? Okay, now can everybody just tell me what makes a stock go higher? Can everyone just tell me what, what, what do you think would make this thing go up? The question, this is how I know you guys are paying attention. Demand, right, Michael? Buyers, Nina, right? Okay. 
Now, do you see buyers on a chart? Steve, do you see buyers on a chart? Okay. No, you don't. You don't see buyers on a chart, right? So now the next thing you have to ask yourself is what would prevent a stock from going higher? Now, how do stocks go up? Buyers and sellers, supply and demand. What made the stock go, um, go higher? A demand. Now, what ends up happening time to time, you'll hit something that are called these resistant levels. What is a resistance? A resistance is not a Fibonacci. It's not a MACD. It's not a, it's sellers. Okay. Now you ready for this? You ready to knock your socks off? I'm going to show you exactly what's going to happen. I had never done this before in a long time. And I'm, I'm doing this. This is very rare. I don't teach, I don't teach class like this, but this is what I want to show you. Okay. This stock literally took off. I'm going to show you something really cool right here. Okay. Watch this. I'm going to draw a trend line. And you could see right here, uh, right around uh, 345 until now, the stock had a big resistance right around $135. Okay. Now, let me show you. Um, hold on a second. Okay, here we are. Right here. Uh, this one kind of died out on me. Hold on, hold on. Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. All right. So there was, this is my trading room. I want to show you this right here. Hold on. I'm going to invite everybody in here. Okay. So this is my trading room and people are trading right now. You see right here on the top left-hand corner, you see, I'll, I'll, draw, I'll draw it for you so you can see it. Right here. See my little chat right here? That's a 349. Okay. Tesla is testing a 220,000 share iceberg order, okay? What does that mean? Well, this is called the NASDAQ book viewer, okay? This is about 50% of the volume. There's something called level four we're going to show you. Look right here, all the sellers. These are sellers. This is the NASDAQ exchange right here, okay? This is where everybody here could buy this for 15 stinking dollars. There is 33,324 orders. There's... 129,000 share sellers at 235, okay? Now, this is only level three. I'm not even showing you level four. Now, think about this. There was actually 200,000, which is on level four, which is right here. Um, I'll show you right here. It's right here. You can't really, see. Oh, sorry. Damn it. Give me a second. I'm really having fun here. I'll be honest with you. I'm just so excited to show you this. Here's Tesla. Okay, right here. You see this, you see this red line right there? I'll blow this up. See this right here? This seller was 222000 That seller at exactly no, at 355 got executed. He got filled. And from 235, this thing ran to 237 like that. Okay, now this is what we call a breakout. Okay, you probably heard about it. Probably never seen one before. Here is an example of it. Now, does anyone hear something called TradeStation? TradeStation also has something called the Matrix. You could see the seller out there took a screenshot at 159. So not only are you seeing half the volume on level three, but I'm showing you double the volume on level four. Now, if you always want to know how these stocks go up and go down, how to have a game plan, that's why you're here. Okay. Now, before I move forward, did I lose anybody yet? Did I lose anyone? Michael, did I lose you? Brock, Steven, Nada? No, everybody's following along? Great. Now, this is what I'm going to show you how to do this. Let me X out. Let me move this over here on the side. And why don't we just get continue and start of how do we learn how to do this stuff? Huh? Because that's why we're here. So I'm not going to spend too much time of going out there and just showing you examples and examples and examples. I think that one example should have basically kind of kind of show you the whole style of cyber trading. Now I need to go to the risk disclosure because I know uh, which one called John just did that. But the thing you have to understand is you got to ask yourself how long you've been trading for and are you making money doing this? I mean, that, that really what comes down to it. Me, I always tell traders, if, you, if you've been doing this for more than, I don't know, three months and you're not getting it after I just showed you something within five minutes that made sense. If you can't know how to capitalize on that and don't see it, you obviously need to change, 
Okay, listen, trading's a great job. We love trading. I love teaching people how to trade. I love changing people's lives, okay? That's why I've been doing it for 30 years. And that's why, you know, we've been endorsed by every brokerage firm, you know, in existence. Think or Swim, Schwab, TradeStation, you know, Metastock. I mean, I can go on and on and on. This is why, you know, we have a five-star rating on Google, which is unheard of because, you know, we take the time to teach you how to play the game the right way. Now, just like you saw one of, you know, the, uh, Randy, the previous speaker, um, a lot of my students will continue and learn something, could pass it on, may do something else they like. But the fact of the matter is, it all starts by trading and understanding how the stock market goes. Now, the thing you have to, I, I like to do a, a little uh, survey here. Maybe you guys could tell me, what kind of trader are you? Are you a stock trader? Are you options? Are you futures? Are you crypto? What, what are you? What kind of trader is everyone here? Just out of curiosity. Options, Oliver? Okay. So let me tell you a couple of options. Let me tell you something. You want to be a good options trader? You damn well better learn how to trade the stock first because it's the movement of the, of the stock that makes the option move. And a lot of these stocks that you've seen, you could trade the options. I And you think this is good? You think this? Wait till I show you Carvana today. Did you guys see Carvana today? This is like, forget it. You're talking about a $233 stock, Okay. Wait till I show you Carvana that was up almost, uh, I don't know, what was Carvana today? I think it was up, I think it was an animal. It was up about 58%. It was up about $9, okay? And that thing's been not only been a great day trade, it's been a phenomenal swing trade. So anyway, these are basically the ratios of the numbers that I find that people take versus stocks versus options. Now, what I'm going to do and let everybody know is this. I'm going to invite all of you to come and join me in my week trading room. Everybody here. OK, because I practice what I preach. So if you want to know why, you know. This is how you make money by following the mouse pad, you know, which everybody will can get one. I'll be able to give everybody one um, finding out how to find these stocks, knowing how to pre-market, how to aftermarket shadow market makers. You're all going to get that access. All I need is about another 30 minutes because I want to make sure that you're making a decision to be here and not wasting anybody's time. Now, listen, there's a lot of stocks that are moving. AI had a great move. Uh, Big had a great move. I mean, these are all intraday stocks. Look at it, $6 to $8 in an hour and a half. You know, Mavis, that went from five to seven. I mean, you're talking about what, an hour? This is all the best times to trade. GLBT, another phenomenal, 42 to 46, all intraday stocks. Now, I broadcast live every morning uh, on YouTube, Think, uh, Twitter, every channel. I don't know if you guys subscribe to my channel, but you know, feel free to come and do it. Uh, you're more than welcome to be there. And, and uh, like I said, we we practice what we preach, and we're on every social network from nine nine o'clock in the morning and at two thirty Eastern Standard Time. Now, before we get started, let me just tell you a little bit about myself. Okay, like John told you, I'm the author of How to Beat Market Makers Their Own Game. I'm one of the original day traders that started Wall Street. I was a market maker. Um, you know, I was one of those bunch of kids that tormented Wall Street. That gentleman right there that you see on that front page is a good friend of mine. He was amazing about that picture. We used to trade on a 15 inch little stinky monitor like that. Guys are trading with six monitors, 24 inches, 28 inches. They can't even make money with those. Could you imagine we make money with that back then? And we used to pay $20 a ticket back then. You guys are trading what? Getting it for free? And you still, and this is why, you know, I, I look at it where it's like, how do you not get this? you got to learn how to play the game. Now, like John, we're both Italians, and my parents, I'm first-generation Italian, and um, my parents came here with $20 in their pocket. All their siblings became very, very successful. Uh, my oldest brother is the founder of you know Skinny Cow Ice Cream. I got bought out by Nestle's for a billion dollars. But for me, I, I took the trading aspect of it, and like we always learn, my parents told me, he says, listen, you want to be good at something? Go out there and learn from the best people that are very good at that. No matter what it costs, no matter if you got to pay them, if you got to travel, if you love something, you'll be good at it. Because when you work with someone that's really bad at it, you're not going to be successful at it. And that's why I'm here today. And I'm hoping to make you guys understand how to trade today's markets. Because what I've learned as a trader on the first day on the job, what I just showed you, I had to pay over a thousand dollars. Yes, that's right, Michael. That was that, my brother's the founder of the company, <laughs> and these is 
you know, and these are the things, and, and, you know, and there's, and I can go on and on, but that doesn't help you, right, Michael? The goal is, is like I tell people, me telling you, you know, like I don't give recommendations, okay? I teach you how to make your own recommendations. I teach you now how to make money, but I teach you how to control to stop losing it. And you got to learn before you can earn in today's markets. That's what trading is all about. That's why, you know, I'm featured on NASDAQ teaching people how to trade this system because that system that you I just showed you, this book viewer right here that I just showed you right here, this I used to pay over a thousand dollars a month. Now, just think about this for a second. You just saw Tesla go up, right? Break out of that resistance. That stock right now is almost at a $238, okay? If you bought 1,000 shares of that stock, you made $3,000 if you could afford it, even 100 shares. Would you pay $1,000 for that technology Some, a month? Would you pay $1,000 a month to see that big order? Just out of curiosity, would you do it? I tell you one thing, 95% of the people when I trained didn't want to do it. Michael, and, and it's okay, Michael, thank God you're honest. Okay, would you pay a hundred dollars for that? For that data to see all these orders to see where seventy percent of the buyers and sellers are. Okay, Oliver says, "Oh, that price, yeah, absolutely, a hundred bucks." Okay, how about this? Fifteen dollars. Would you pay fifteen dollars for it? Because that is all Nasdaq charges you for something that I paid a thousand dollars at a twenty-two year old. Now I'm. 51 and you can get it and why would nobody would do that whatever it takes that's exactly abdul right whatever it takes but this is the difference between people that fail and succeed okay i'm just going to warn everybody here and i think you probably already know this so otherwise you wouldn't be here you listen you want to make money in the market okay there's no free lunches there's just no free lunches but you just want a good deal that's all I'm actually, Oliver, I'm going to show you how to get it, okay? I'm going to show you how to get it. So I'm glad you asked that question, all right? But I want to talk a little bit about the market and why it's been up and, and if it's going to continue to go higher, and, you know, after you saw about the debt relief and all this good stuff, you know, what they had and all this crazy action and, you know, who's who's right, who's wrong, where's this money going, all this crazy stuff. But you know, the thing you have to understand is you can't take things personally, okay, uh, depending on what side of the aisle are. You're a trader, you're here to make money, and that's the key thing. The goal is to risk the least amount of money as possible, the high amount of reward. You know, only people I know that are not fans of Tesla hate Tesla. I have people that are big fans of Tesla. Okay. But if you you if you hate Tesla, go ahead, short it today. If they're seeing what I just showed you, go short it. Let me know how that works out for you. Okay. Oh, I hate Tesla. I'm not an electric car guy. Who the hell cares? If the stock is going up, that's all that matters. Oh, I got ripped off on Carvana. I hate Carvana. It was at, what was it, $350? Where'd it go all the way down to six? Yeah, I would never buy that garbage. Okay, well, you know what? It's up about 300%, you know, from its lows. Why wouldn't you want to get involved in it? So that's how you have to know how to trade today's markets. You got to know how to play the game and know how to find these big, big movers and where they go. And by doing that, it's all about following the money. So now let's talk about the different vehicles of trading. Now, you have to understand something. To be successful in the market, you have to follow the money. That's it. That's all it's about, following the orders. And I want to start off with uh, NASDAQ level three and level four, because those are really the most popular vehicles that are out there. And the exchanges really go out of their way to kind of make sure you understand how to trade with them. Because if you know how to trade the market, then you'll know why they go up and down instead of start implementing all this crazy stuff. OK, it's all about the KISS method. Keep it super simple. So let's talk. Let, let's look at NASDAQ Book Viewer because some of you want to know a little bit more about it. Now, before I show you where to get it, let me just teach you a little bit how it works. OK, we're looking at NVIDIA. Everybody saw NVIDIA, big run up, had great earnings. What about a week, two weeks ago? So the stock was at four hundred and fourteen dollars. Right now, the question is, is it too late to buy it? Is it going up? Is it going down? The goal is stop focusing on the past. Let's focus on the future. Let's focus on the, the sellers. Where are they? Okay. And when you look at NVIDIA, you'll notice that it kept having a hard time breaking 400. It hit 400 at 1245. It went up. It hit it at 130. It went up. 
It hit it at two o'clock. It went up. Why did it keep bouncing and having a tough time breaking 400? Well, when you look at the NASDAQ uh, exchange and you look at the floor, you'll notice there's 19,000 shares looking to be bought and there's 45 orders out there. By the way, that's nothing compared to the Tesla trade I just showed you, okay? But at, regardless, if you look over there on the, on the buy side or the sell side, you got 100 share sellers, one share, you know, 10 shares, 500 shares. On the average, 19,000, you know, when you divide that by some of those, that's almost like 100 times more than the average order that's out there, maybe 200 times. So I would take it a little seriously, okay? And same thing for the resistance levels. You could see AI went from 36, hit 41, came back to 36. Ever that happened to you? You ever go out there and you're like, damn it, why did I get this stock and why did I sell it? Why did I get greedy? Well, I don't know. Did you see if the sellers were out there? Did you have a game plan? Did you know where the street was at? Did you see the 62 orders at, you know, at $41 for 28,000 shares? Chances are you probably didn't. Is it worth $15 now? Because when I started, I had to pay a thousand. And I said, you know what? I want to make that six figure salary. Okay. And if I was here trying to tell you to buy it, you probably nine, probably 99% of you still like, I still, I don't know. I don't know. Listen, I don't work for NASDAQ. Okay. I work for myself. I'm just trying to tell you not to go out there and spend all this money on stuff without even just having the opportunity that to have a C on that exchange. Now let's look, let's have a little fun. Pack W. Okay. That stock had a good run this week. Stock ran from like 870, ran to 930. Now let's think about this, traders. I have a question for all of you. You're making money on the stock, right? Where do you get out? How do you know when the stock is going to stop going higher? What do we do? What do we need? What do we need? A Fibonacci, Joe to tell us, Rod to kind of send us a newsletter. I don't know. My, I'm just making up. What do you need? Signs of slowdown, Oliver. Okay. Anyone else? How about this? How about a bunch of sellers? Right? How about sellers? Well, because when you look at a stock and you're and you're focusing on, you're like, damn you, I got a nice profit. Am I getting greedy? Do I gotta get out? I mean, like, where where are the sellers? You know what I mean? Like, I can't see it. Because you want to book a profit. Remember, you didn't make any money until you sell it. But when you, okay, so let's go over here in NASDAQ Book Viewer. And okay, we're going to go to the seller section over here on the right-hand side. We're going to look down and we're going to see how many sellers. And we notice that right around, we get around here, you got about 8,000, 5,000. Not really a lot here, 200, 100. You know, right here is where we're talking about some sellers. All right. Well, it's not a lot like the ones we saw before, not as obvious. But the key is his. Look at the buyers, 220,000 share buyer out there at 666. So as much as you're thinking about sellers, there's a huge ass buyer out there. Well, guess what? That is the reason why it's going up. And not only that, but look at the options. They're going higher. So you could trade this towards an option trade. So not even focusing on selling it. Did you look at the buyers out there? Because... More buyers, it will still continue to go higher, and that's what we're looking for. Let's look at another one, SoFi. Where's resistance? A, B, C, or D? You know, I'm not going to bore you. I think everyone's going to figure this out. It's obvious, 130,000 shares. Now, the thing is this. Did you need a chart to tell you that? Because on this chart, it tells you it's going higher. But on this example, when it got there with that big seller, never broke through it. All by using the simple exchange. That's it. Why would you not want to buy this? I still can't figure it out. So now where can, now a lot of you are probably asking, where do I get book viewer? All right. So does everyone have their phone with you? Okay. So all you have to do is turn on your phone, go to your camera. Okay. Uh, go to your camera and then just click and you can click on it. It'll bring you right to the NASDAQ website. All right. And you go buy it there for $15. All right. Now, as you're doing that, don't buy it now. Just save it on your phone. Okay. Or you just copy that address up on top. Now, 
There's only one problem about purchasing this. You still don't know how to set up the defaults. You still don't know how to read it. Now, at the end of the presentation, we're going to give you a couple of workshops. I'm going to give you a couple of ways how to customize it, how to set up, because chances are, I just told you, this is basically what I trained you. You've been dealing with public transportation. Now you realize, holy crap, I could buy my own car? Yeah, okay. And now you're like, wow, this is amazing. How do I do it? Well, let me show you how to drive the car first before you actually get into it, okay? But you definitely buy it. And then when you get to my workshop, I'll show you how to do it, okay? Uh, Michael has a question. How does the volume play into this? The volume is low. Those big buyers and sellers are able to move price. Michael, that's a good question. 50% of the people fail by trading something what we teach is called the three T's, tradable, trend, and trap. The first T, the stock's not tradable. And if stock has very low volume, that means it has very big spreads and we don't trade it. So that's a very good question. We'll talk about that. Let's go hop on to level four, okay? Now, remember those nice big red lines? So now what's happening, what you're looking at is called a heat map. Now, in this heat map, you're going to see how long the trader's been out there and if he's adding to it and everything else. So... So right here on this column right here, this is your level three, okay? This is your level three, all right? That's your level three right there. Let me, hold on. I'm trying, I'm trying to write backwards that I can't do it on this thing. Let me just fix this. There we go. All right, because this is your level three right here. Now, this is your level four right here in this section right here. So now you could see your orders like we just saw on NASDAQ Book Viewer, but now we could see how long he's been out there, if there's other orders. Now we're getting a little bit more of a visual. So it makes it a little bit easier and a little less complicated for us traders to kind of see what's going on, all right? Now, the so now does anyone here use Thinkorswim? You could get this software on Thinkorswim if you have a Thinkorswim account. Um, go to, you can go to our YouTube channel. It's actually one of Thinkorswim's most popular videos. And uh, you, could, you, can get on, you can get on Thinkorswim. But once again, before you pay, you pay for it or get it, let me get to the workshop and let me show you how it works, okay? Because once again, you'll do more harm than good. All right. So the goal is, is that to be a successful trader is to see the future. Now, when we're looking at a stock like GSIT, the first thing that comes to your mind is, where is the resistance levels? Where do I get out? Where the sellers are? That's what we're looking for, okay? So when we implement and we look at level four, we notice that right now we're trading at 656. The next biggest iceberg order is what we call is at, uh, is at 730. That is literally about 80 cents away. Now, do we sell it now? Or do we sell it at 730? What do you what do you traders think? What should we do? Should we sell it now and take the profit? Or should we hold on and we get close to uh, 730? If you can't answer this question, okay, you should really consider stop trading. Okay, really. All right, good. Thank you very much, Michael. Brooke, everybody. Listen, I just want to make sure everyone's paying attention. All right. Yeah, we should probably wait because that's a nice little mover. Do you ever sell something early and you're like, damn, why did I sell it? That thing was going higher. Why did I get out? Why did I do that? All right. Like Tesla. Okay. Look at Tesla since we started. What time we start? What time we start? Does everybody remember? We started at four o'clock. That's right here. Look where the stock is since we got off. We're at 130, 2.35. We executed an iceberg order for a quarter million. Look where it is right now, 239.50. Isn't that cool? It's awesome. I love, I love showing examples like that. Actually, I did an example with, um, and, jo and John, you know this, I was down this weekend, this week, I was down uh, at DTI at the on-site that they do at Sawgrass. I did the same exact example with Apple. Big, and, and, and you know, and everybody was just going nuts. So like, holy crap. I couldn't believe how that stock hit 185, came up to a 400,000 share seller and backed right off. But anyway, getting back to the stock, look what ended up happening. It went right to that 740. So you don't want to, so that's, so, you know, how many, you don't want to go into a trade and just sell things too early. You know, just like Carvana, big sellers, seller out here, you know, at 
2010, big green ball seller gets done. You see this little uh, right there? You see that little line right there, that red line? That is an order that was out there at 1780. That was at 1015 this morning, okay? I want to show you something right here. Hold on. That order that you see right there, this is Carvana. That was right here. Okay, that order was right here where I'm showing you. Right here. Is that, that, that was the clock, right? What time was that? That was at 10.15, yeah. So he showed up. This is pretty cool too. This is what happened today. Uh, was it 10.30? Yeah, right here, okay? So that order showed up right around here, right around this price right here. When he showed up right there, that stock went all the way up to about $20. Think about that. That is a $3 move. Granted, the stock went to 26, okay? But that order that I just showed you right there was a quarter of a million share buyer came out there. And what happened, okay, hold on. What happened here was this order, that guy canceled his order and he was so desperate to get it. He went out there and says, the hell with it. I'm buying the damn stock. And he actually ran it up himself. He had a limit order out there. He wasn't getting executed. And boom, the stock ran up. And you could see in that this is where it was earlier, you know, where it was out there. And look at it. Boom. Then there was another sell that showed up at $20.30 for 140 And guess what? Somebody bought it. By the way, does anybody here use that time and sales window? Probably guarantee a lot of you don't. Okay. But seller got done. There's a breakout. Another seller came in, boom, he got executed, 2030. The stock, remember, this is at 1140. These orders were out there. This could have been a short squeeze, you know? And hell, you don't want to be squeezed because you get squeezed. Look what ends up happening. These things could take off. And that's the beauty of the trader. Oh, this is another big winner. Everybody heard about the big news today with MGOL? Everybody know uh, uh, Messe, the big soccer player? He just um, declined a billion dollar contract by the Arabs. He says, you know what? I'm done. I don't want to go there. I want to come to the United States. He wants to trade Miami. Meanwhile, the company that he joined, look what happened. Love this guy. Great player, Michael. Yeah. And you know what? I love it. I don't know who he is. I'm not a soccer player, but damn well, I love him today with that stock that he ran because when news came out, that ran from $1.60 to $3. And I bet if you knew that, Michael, if you were watching him and if you knew about the news, and how would react to the stock if you were a trader? Look how much money you would have made on that stock. So not much for you to love him. You actually made your money on that stock, okay? Because even though there were sellers out there at $2, boom, that thing, it took him out and ran all the way to three. Isn't that awesome? Isn't that, by the way, I'm going to ask everybody another time. Did I lose anybody? Did I confuse anybody yet? Uh believed in him, took care of him and the medical issues. Michael, whatever that news is, okay, whatever it is, and that's great. And I, I'm happy for his family and, and they're taking care of him. Um, but at the end of the day, COVID, okay, biggest catastrophe that ever happened, you know, I mean, we had a pandemic here since the flu back in, in the 1900s, all right? You know how much money of an opportunity was out there to make money at Moderna? And people didn't know that. Stock went from 20 to what, three, 400? You know what I mean? Like there's winners all the time. And not only this on the vaccine stock, but what about all the online stocks? They did great. As much as you might, you know, sit there and blame this person or see death, or whatever it is, at the end of the day, this is why we trade. There's always opportunities to make money. All right. So listen, I'm done showing you slide at the slide at the slide at the slide. I mean, there are just so many over and over and over again. And you could apply this to stock trading. You know, NVAX, another big winner. I mean, seeing these big iceberg orders at $10 and seeing how they break out and go to 1030 and 11. I mean, like, but you can't see that on a regular chart. I want to show you all this stuff live, okay? And then hopefully maybe one day if I could teach you, maybe you could teach other people. Because the way I teach my traders, I don't hold anything back. I want, I, I prefer everybody to go out there, learn how to trade properly, and go out there and be educators because there's just too many people out there losing money. So, and that's the problem. So there's no better time to learn than now. 
And I want you to not only to learn, but I want to introduce you to my other traders and not judge us on our winners, but judge us on our losers. You see, my big thing is I don't like to teach people and take a talk about the winners. I don't know. I think I feel that's like an egotistical thing. Everybody likes to talk about winners. Nobody likes to talk about losers. You know, I spend about 80% of my time talking about losers because it's the losers that put you out of business. You know, it's not the winners. The winners take care of themselves. You know, think about owning a business. Do you every day compliment your employee? Oh, what a great job. Oh, what a great job. You anticipate to do a good job because that's what you're paying them for. But you don't want to hire someone that could put you uh, in harm or other people. That's your concern. So the only time you're really probably going to talk to somebody is number one, when you train them, and two, when he makes a mistake. And that's what really we do here at Cybertree University. Number one, we're going to teach you how to trade. And number two, we're going to teach you how to stop making those mistakes. So this is what we're going to be doing. And this is what we're going to be teaching you what to do. And this is why Cybertree University has been endorsed by some of the biggest brokerage firms in the industry because they feel that if you know what you're doing, you'll be their client forever. I mean, it costs them a lot of money to acquire a client. They don't want you to blow up your account. So if you didn't subscribe to our channel, our YouTube channel, you can find us there. We're there live every morning and every afternoon. Uh, we have a great, we have a, over 3,000 videos that we have put up there over the years. And not only that, but you can also subscribe and get our alerts on our Twitter for Facebook, all for free. I'm not going to charge you for that. But I would prefer what you do is I want you to come to the trading room and be there all day. And get these recordings and get these workshops and all that stuff. Okay. That's what I want you to do. I want you to be there when we do live commentary from 9 a.m. to 1030 and coming back at 2 30 to 4 o'clock. And not only not only listening to me, but listen to my other instructors. Remember, it's not the Fausto show. I have so many, I have a huge staff at CTU. And that's what we're focusing on by teaching you how to be, be part of our team and be part of our family. Now, these is the, we, we, all these workshops are going to come with it. You're going to get all this good stuff. Um, I do want to take some questions, all right, because we're running out of time here. I know you guys have been here a long day, and I don't want to exhaust you with that. But, um, but this is what I'm looking to do. Uh, let me just get right to it. Okay, so if everybody has a pen uh, or if you have your phone, I want you to click on that little scanner right there, okay? It's called the CTU.co Summer Deal, all right? Now, this is the deal. Name your price. That's it. Name your price. I don't care what you want to pay me. All right. I don't care what it is, but I do not work for free because I feel like if you put some money in the line, you got some skin in the game. I know you can do this for free. Okay. Whatever you want, Don. Whatever. I don't care. Whatever it is. I don't care. If you think that's all I'm worth, then give me a dollar. Okay. It's better than zero. All right. If you think I'm worth $100, you know, I like you even more. All right. Whatever it is, I don't care. But the thing is this, I'm looking for serious traders. I, I, I Dom, it's okay. I, I'd rather you do something than nothing. How about that? But think about this for a second. All right. Let, let's go back. Let's go back to uh, Tesla. Okay. Let me just show you. Look at this stock, how it made a big run right here. All right. Look what happened when I showed you on the book view of the 129,000 share seller. Look what happened when I brought the level four and showed you that there was a 250,000 share seller. Look what happened when I talked to my traders and they all started jumping in into the close within the last 10 minutes. And they're still in there trading. You could see them right here. They're still in there. You know, they're still in, they're still in there trading out there and get to meet them all there. I mean, this is what I'm looking to do. I want to show you be part of our team. All for a very inexpensive price of what you want to, you know, that you name it. And this is all the stuff you're going to get. You're going to get live commentary. You're going to get one week in that room. You're going to get three pro workshops. Oh, I almost forgot to mention this. How about this? How about you talk to me on the phone? W wouldn't that be pretty cool? that you could actually talk to me on the phone because you know what? The reason why I'm looking to do that is because you need questions answered, right? Now you're probably thinking about like, wait, it's pretty cool. Fausto is going to actually pick up the phone and talk to me. Why would he do that? I'll tell you why. Because I'm looking to teach people how to trade so you could teach other people in the world, okay? Or maybe you just be part of my family. 
But at the end of the day, we need to interview that. We need to make sure that you are a good fit. And trust me, a lot, listen, a lot of you probably are not. And you know what? That's not a bad thing. You might not like the way I talk. You might not like the way the look. I don't know. Maybe you don't like them from New York. I don't know whatever it might be. But you got to respect that. I've been doing it for 30 years. And the thing is, I wouldn't be here today if I didn't know what I was doing. And you know what? At the end of the presentation, if you feel like I wasted your time, I'll give you whatever money you spent. Listen, I don't need your money. Okay. I'm looking for traders I, that want to make six figures, that want to help me find these big iceberg orders because Tesla just ran to 143. Oh my God. That is a $10 move since we've been on the since we've been here. All because of that big iceberg order got filled. So that alone would have paid for this whole thing. How about that? Um, Abdul, whatever you want to pay. I, listen, just take your phone. Click on that, that little um, QR code or write it in and just put whatever you want to pay in there. I don't care. Whatever you want. I'm just looking for somebody that wants to have some skin in the game. Okay? Does that sound fair? We put the link in the chat also for you, Fausto. Yeah, you got the link right there. It's called the, the C2 Summer the summer Program, whatever it is. I mean, you guys could do it. I can't. Okay. Just name your price, whatever you want to spend. All right? Um, any questions? Okay, a couple of questions I do have. Some people were asking me before. Um, how much money do I need to start? The thing is this. You, you need zero. The only money you need to spend is what you're going to pay right now. I don't want you to buy anything. I don't want you to look. I just want you to watch and to see if other traders make money doing this. Okay? I'm not here to tell you what to buy and sell. I'm here to teach you how to think for yourself because you have to hit that button. And the most important thing, you need to know how to take that loss on that trade. That's the big thing. All right. Um, do I need a brokerage account? No, you don't need anything. That's listen, I'm not telling you to go buy the car. Let me teach you to drive it first to make sure you get the right one. All right. Uh, how long is the offer open? Because I'll be on vacation. Okay. So Oliver, listen, you buy it now and you can start it 14 days from now. All right. Just lock it in because it's a one-time deal, you know, and that's it. All right. After the promo, how much? Marie, I didn't even see you register yet, okay? Don't worry about what it's going to cost, you know, down the road. Worry about this right here first, okay? That's the least of your problems. Listen, Marie, if I taught you how to make $100,000 and it cost you $1,000, would you do it, okay? So, but then you, your argument is, but I didn't make the 100, exactly. So let's not worry about that right now. Let's worry about just making, let's, let's, just get the ball rolling and start here, okay? It, Dom, this is for one week. Listen, realistically, you need one day. That's it. You just need one day in the room. Hell, you just saw what's going on, what just happened with Tesla. By the way, it's already at 254, and I'm still seeing buyers bidding it up right now, okay? Buyers are still showing up on the stock, bidding up the stock, all right? Unbelievable. Any other questions? So... Listen, three whatever whatever you whatever you want to spend, whatever you want to pay, doesn't does not affect me. All right, um, Jason Fuhrer from California just got your registration. He's the first person I got so far. The first person. All right, now listen. Um, when you fill out that quest, when you fill it out, there's going to be a questionnaire which is very important because please tell us, we only asked about five questions. Let us know if anyone trained you. Let us know if anybody, um, you know, uh, you, if, you, if you're using level two, level three, we kind of ask you basic, basic questions. Do you have a brokerage account? You know, want to make sure that we know the more you let us know about you, the more we can help you, okay? Uh, a couple other people just, uh, Andrew just got your registration. Welcome aboard. Another one from California. There you go. All right. Welcome aboard. John, got your registration. Welcome aboard. Is this for beginners, Marie? Marie, um, it, it goes both ways. I, I personally think everyone's a beginner. You know, I mean, we, we start from beginner and we work our way more advanced. But you'll see when we do the class, Marie, we'll, we'll show you some very slow moving stocks and we'll show you some fast moving stocks. Absolutely. So I wouldn't worry about that. A uh, couple of more shout outs right here. Nigel, got your registration. Welcome aboard. Uh, 
from uh, Orlando, Florida. Love Orlando. My kids love, love, love Universal. Okay. Love the rides there. Love Universal. Uh, who else we got? Kramer, uh, Kramer V from Ohio. Got your registration. Welcome aboard. All right. Uh, any other questions? Not, uh, Nigel, I think I told you. I think I got your registration. Did I get yours? Yes, I did. I got it. Okay. Uh, also, I'd like to thank uh, Michael Edwards. Got your registration from Napa, California. Love Napa. Wow, you're up in the wine country. A lot of people from California. You know, it's funny. We're doing this late. So I guess we're getting a lot of people West Coast. Because um, in the morning, we always get a lot more East Coast. Okay. Any other questions? Wow, let me tell you something. Um, so just remember, what is the goal that we're going to be? Now, now, by the way, just remember, um, I'm going to tell you a little bit about what we do here. When uh, before you actually are going to get registered and get into the trading room, you're all going to get a phone call. Uh, you're going to talk to an education advisor. Listen, we take the time to walk you through to know what you're going to be seeing and where to get around the portal page because we don't want to confuse you and get lost. So you're going to learn how to get into those into that. And then uh, he's going to tell you where the videos are, and then he'll make an appointment for you. We'll probably we'll probably talk sometime in like mid next week. I like you to get at least two or three days in the trading room um, to see what's going on. And by the way, you don't got to be there all day. That's probably the next question. You got to you don't have to be there all day. Okay, um, we'll go through that, and then we'll set up an appointment, and then hopefully you have a lot of questions to ask uh, by that time. And the phone is always open to call whenever you want to talk to your advisors. But I only very limited to time myself because I'm trading my traders. But um, but we'll take that time and go out there and learn how to do it. Uh, another shout out really quick. I want to thank, uh, who do we got here? Abdul, just, oh, there you are. I got your registration. You're from Illinois? Got your registration. Welcome aboard. Thank you so much for that. Appreciate it. And by the way, to let everybody know, um, what we're, you, you don't have to start right away. I personally think if you can do it today, I mean, start tomorrow, but if you can't, you know what? Start Monday. Do you walk through tomorrow, get everything done and start clean on Monday. That's usually the best way to go. Um, okay, Marie, that's another great question. We will not charge you anything. We're not those type of people that are going to bill you and surprise you with some surprise, uh, uh, you know, payment, uh, you know, plan, whatever. We don't do that. Okay. <laughs> Listen, I have a reputation. I, I don't need your money that bad. Okay. Uh, what I need is people that want to learn how to do this, that I could show them how to shadow the market, how to, that can help me. You find these orders out there and we could trade together like a team. That's what I'm looking for. Okay. See, the problem is I'm always recruiting new traders because my traders Eventually, you're going to learn and you're going to flock and you're going to leave, you know, and you're going to learn, you're going to do, you're going to find your own thing and you're going to start your own little trading room. You know what I mean? The goal is we're not looking to hold anyone hostage. So we're always constantly looking for traders and, you know, and we always appreciate when people come back and says, oh yeah, you know what? I learned from Fausto, um, you know, and I learned a lot. I just found a little more of a strategy. I kind of liked a little bit better, but I found the foundation of it and that's why I'm here. A uh, couple more people I want to do a quick shout out. Um, looks like everyone's starting to register. Oliver M. Got your registration. Where are you from, Oliver? You're from another country. BW. Is that Brit uh, uh, Britain? Is that where you're from? I don't know. What Germany. Okay. All right. Uh, Olga, Olga got your registration. Looks like a couple of people. In oh, California. Ali uh, Elga got your registration. B got your. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, any other questions? Good. I look like we almost got almost everybody registered, John. Okay. This is good. That's awesome. News. This is really good. I kind of like it. Not everybody, which is okay. But, uh, you know, listen, sometimes people are not ready to jump in. I get it. I mean, eventually you will, but look forward to it. All right. Well, um, I, I got to tell you, though, Fausto, you know, it couldn't have happened any better. They just listened to the last guy, and then you you get here, and he's like, oh, yeah, Fausto, Fausto taught me. And I'm like, oh, wow, what a great – we didn't plan that, I swear to God. That was just so perfect of like, oh, I was, I'm a graduate. It's like, oh, come on, really? That's so I cool. Know, that was a nice little plug. But you know what it is, John? I mean, listen, there's a lot of people out there. You know, people like to say they want to learn about dark pools. You know, there's, there's about two or three of my students out there that are very well known that teach it. Some people want to learn about high frequency trades. You know, we've all, mm. we've all been there. Um, you just kind of like, listen, 
you got to know the foundation. You know what I mean? Like I'm the Marines. You know, I know some people like, oh, but I want to do the Air Force or whatever. I'm the Marines. I'm the first one that's in there. I'll show you how to play the game. Uh, but like, for example, you know, like Don just said and everyone else, like I'm not really like we do trade options in the room, but I'm more of a stock guy because, mm. you know, it's the movement of the stock that moves. And then you'll start realizing that, you know, sometimes you do things backwards. You're like, oh, but I like options because of leverage. No, that's not why you trade options. That's how you can blow up your account. You know what? And there's so many people that trade options. But if you knew how to trade the stock, then you could be like, holy crap, this stock has good options. Like today, we were trading Carvana. And some people like, you know what? Let me check out the options on this, which I would never think of. Like, holy crap, they're pretty cheap. And then you might look at something, John and everyone else. And like, you know what? You look at the stock moving and they're like, oh, my God, I almost bought that option. Like, I would have got crushed. Mm -hmm. The spread was huge. It's got no good op. Like, why would I, why would he tell me to trade the option on this? It's terrible. It's just sometimes it's cheaper just to trade the stock, you know? And that's where that comes in. But that goes for everything, even like swing trading. You know what? You'll learn how to swing trade. If you, you know, like there's stocks that we trade and be like, wow, this stock is moving pretty nicely. Maybe I'll consider doing a swing trade. You know? Hmm. All right. Any other, any other questions, by the way? I think we got pretty much everybody. Michael said, thank you. Oh, just, I think there's one more. It's just a, um, can people outside the U.S. learn from you? Oh, my God. I got people. I, I just did an event um, in China and Singapore and Australia for NASDAQ. They have a couple of influencers. This was kind of difficult, John, but I had to convert. I had, to, I had a translator. I had to you know, speak in English and had to ch translate in Chinese because they want to learn how to trade it. You know, oh, and cool. NASDAQ wants me to teach them. So, yes, I mean, there's people all over the place. Listen. The United States is the financial capital of the world. This is where everybody mm -hmm. trades. I mean, this is what we're known on. You turn on a TV, that's, this is what drives our whole economy, you know?